Hello, my dear friend. How are you? I'm David Coulter, and uh, I want to show an important uh, topic today. So let's visit uh, my website www.david-coulter.com. So this is my website. And uh, today we need to click in this section software engineering. We will study together the computer clock. What is the computer clock? A clock in a computer is a crucial component that coordinates the activities of all the parts of the system. It ensues the various components work in synchrony by providing a consistent time reference. So, it ensues that various components work in synchrony by providing a consistent time reference. In this document, we will delve into what a clock in a computer is, its functions and its working principles. So, I have written this document for you, so you can print, you can study, you can do what you want. What is a clock in a computer? A clock in a computer is an electronic oscillator, oscillator that generates a consistent series of electrical pulses. These pulses are known as clock signals and they set the tempo for the operations of the central processing unit and other components. The clock signal is typically a square wave a square wave alternating between high and low states, so basically it's something like this, which indicates the timing of operations. Types of clocks in computers. System clock, CPU clock, the main clock, driving the CPU determining the rate at which instructions are executed. Real-time clock RTC, RTC keeps track of the current time and date even when the computer is powered off thanks to a small battery. Bus clock governs the timing of data transfers over the system's data bus. Peripheral clocks, used by various peripherals like graphics card, network cards, etc., to synchronize their operations with the rest of the system. Functions of a computer clock Synchronization Synchronization ensures that all parts of the computer work together in a coordinated manner. Every operation in the CPU happens in step with the clock signals. Timing provides precise timing intervals for operations. This ensures that tasks are executed at the right time, avoiding conflicts and ensuring data integrity. Control manages the flow of data within the CPU and between the CPU and other components, ensuring proper sequencing of operations. Coordination coordinates activities between different components, such as memory and I.O. devices, maintaining overall system harmony. Basic components, oscillator, the heart of the clock, generating a continuous periodic electronic signal, so it's a continuous periodic electronic signal. 
Quartz crystals are commonly used for their stable oscillation properties. Clock generator converts the oscillator oscillator signal into a usable clock signal. It may include frequency multipliers or dividers to achieve the desired clock frequency. So frequency multipliers so dividers to achieve the desired clock frequency. Clock distribution network distributes the clock signal to various parts of the CPU and other components. This network ensures minimal delay and maintains signal integrity. Working mechanism So, oscillation. The oscillator creates a periodic signal at a specific frequency. For instance, a quartz, a quartz crystal oscillator might generate a signal at 25 million cycles per second megahertz. So, frequency adjustment, the clock generator modify this, uh, modifies this base frequency to the required operational frequency of the CPU. For example, the 25 MHz signal might be multiplied to 2.5 GHz for the, compute, for the CPU. Signal distribution, the clock signal is then distributed through the clock distribution network. This involves careful management to avoid skew, differences in timing between signals reaching different parts of the system. Synchronization. Every component that receives the clock signal uses it to synchronize its operations. For example, each tick of the clock might represent one cycle of fetching, decoding, executing, and writing back an instruction in the CPU. This is very, very important. Each tick of the clock might represent one cycle of fetching, decoding, executing, and writing back an instruction in the CPU. Clock cycle. A clock cycle is the time between two consecutive pulses of the clock signal. The speed of the clock is measured in hertz, indicating the number of cycles per second. For example, a 3 GHz clock has 3 billion cycles per second. So remember this. A 3 GHz clock has 3 billion cycles per second. Importance of uh, clock speed. Clock speed, often referred to as the clock rate, it is a critical factor in determining the performance of a computer. It is usually me measured in gigahertz. G H Z. The higher the clock speed, the more instructions a CPU can process per second. Factors affecting clock speed, thermal management. And this is very important nowadays because the, the thermal problems are the main problems are the main problem of the, the clock of the CPU. Thermal management, higher speeds generate more heat, requiring efficient cooling solutions to prevent overheating. Power consumption, that, that these two are linked together. Faster clocks consume more power, impacting battery life in portable devices. The problem is the Joule effect. So, basically, an electronic device increases the 
the heat because it absorbs more power so power consumption faster clocks consume more power impacting battery life in portable devices Material limit, physical properties of materials impose limits of how fast an oscillator can function re reliably. So, overclocking and underclocking. Overclocking, increasing the clock speed beyond the manufacturer's specifications to boost performance, this requires adequate cooling and can reduce component lifespan please do not overclock your cpu because you reduce the lifespan of your computer underclocking reducing the clock speed to lower power consumption and heat generation often used in energy efficiency efficient or battery saving modes real world application multi-core processor modern cpus have multiple cores each with its own clock but synchronized synchronized and with the system clock for parallel processing timing critical applications applications like real-time video processing, gaming and scientific simulations rely heavily on precise clock timing for optimal performance. Networking Network devices use clocks to synchronize data transfer rates and ensue seamless communication. Challenges in clock design Clock uh, skew Variations in the arrival times of the clock signal at different components can lead to synchronization issues. Jitter. Small, rapid variations in the clock signal timing can cause errors in high speed systems. Power dissipation. Efficient power management is critical to maintaining. Uh, uh, clock stability and overall system reliability. Reliability. Solutions phase locked loops PLLS PLLS used to synchronize the clock signal across different parts of the system reducing skew and jitter. It syncs and cooling systems uh, essential for dissipating the heat generated by high speed clocks. Adaptive clocking uh, dynamically adjusts the clock speed based on the system load to balance performance and power consumption. So today this is a fundamental fundamental uh, characteristics of the modern CPU. So conclusion: the clock in a computer is a fundamental component that plays a crucial role in the operation and performance on, of the system. By providing a consistent and precise time signal, it ensures that all parts of, a, of the computer together of the computer work together in harmony. Understanding how computer clocks function and their impact on system performance is essential for optimizing and designing efficient computing systems. As the technology advances, the challenges of clock design will continue to evolve, necessitating innovative solutions to meet the demands of faster and more efficient computing. So now I want to show you the characteristics of my computer. So as you can see, now the speed is 4.26 uh, gigahertz that, uh, and the best speed is 2.59 because uh, mm, today we know that uh, the CPU uh, has that um, has these uh, characteristics so, so it, it can increase the uh, gigahertz the speed 
with the multipliers that uh, uh, multiply the, the clock speed of the, of the CPU. So, and this is the 6 core, it is uh, a CPU, it is the Intel uh, i5-11400, um, the 11th uh, generation of the Intel core, and uh, as you can see there are 60 cores, but... Uh, uh, here are displayed uh, 12 for the hyper threading technology, but uh, that is another another uh, another topic. So I want to remember that uh, in my website uh, you can find a lot of material for your studies mathematics, physics, chemistry, and it's all free so you can study you can chat with me uh, I, I want to show here my chat so you can use uh, oh. so you can use uh, my chat in uh, every moment okay you can write everything you want for example hey david can you explain me can you explain me blah 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 dot 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 you write me here and uh, probably I will respond to you in uh, one, two days. So, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.